Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add products to your Wix website. It's very, very easy to do. But before I get into that, I'm just gonna remind you guys I do have a full Wix playlist down below in the comments as well as in the description, just with tons of tutorials and tips on how to start off with Wix. And for example, if you're looking to add drop shipping products, I do have a video just centered on that in that playlist. So be sure to go check that out. Anyhow, this is on how to add products to your Wix website otherwise. Now you'll just start off on your dashboard here on the site that you want to, start to add the products to. You just wanna click on site actions and click on edit site and it'll bring you over to the ADI section of Wix. So we'll just give this a second to pop open my website. Now what you wanna do first off when you're in this mode is you want to ensure that your site has a shop option. So as you guys see, I have the shop option on my website. If you do not have it on yours, you just wanna click on add and then apps. And then you'll see on the left side, you'll see the online store option. You just wanna click on add for that just to make sure you have that on there or else you won't be able to add products. But then once you're done that, you wanna go over here and just go over to the editor and then click on switch to editor. And then it'll bring you over to the editing section of the Wix website. And once your website loads into the editing mode, you just wanna go over to the left side and you just wanna see here that you have the My Store option. Once you see the My Store option, you just wanna click on that and then you will see an option here to add products. So we're just gonna click on add products and then it will open it up to the adding products page. And here we'll have the option to add uh, images and add videos and add the title for your product. So let's just say if I was selling merch, I could put merch in here. And then I could go ahead and add products and videos to do with my uh, product. So I can click on add images, for example. And then I'll just click on a random image here, just like this, and click on add to page. And so if you have lots of images of your products, you can go ahead and add that in here, uh, as many as you have. But then under that, you will see you have the basic info. So the name of the product. So I just put, uh, let's say, t-shirt. just like that. And I'll take the merch out there. And then you can put the price down here. So let's just say if I was selling it for $29.99 Canadian dollars. And then under that, you'll be able to put if it's on sale or not. So if you just click on on sale, you'll see you could put a discount percentage or you could put a discount price or you could just put up the sale price straight up. So let's just say my sale price was $24.99. And then it would put the 5% discount on there just like that. And then under that, you can choose a description. So I could just put cotton t-shirt machine washable or anything that has to do with your product at all. So machine washable and that's perfect for this tutorial at least, but you wanna go into depth here as much as you can to do with your product. Under this, you see you have an option to add custom text. So if you wanna add custom text, you can go ahead and do that here. And then here's where you have the product options. So if you have different options or different variants of your product, like size, color, material, you wanna add them here. So I'm just gonna click on add options and we could say that I had different sizes. So I could put option name, I'll put small, and then I could put different color options here as well. But for this small option, I can just put, let's just say uh, list, and then I could put different uh, choices for the options. So I could put, let's say red, blue, white. So this will all be different color options for the small size, for example. Uh, so once you're done tooling around with this, you can just click on add and that will add the one size option. Uh, if you want to add more, you can go ahead and add more. And then you could put medium, for example. And then you could put different colors for that one too, like red or white. So you guys get what I'm trying to say. Uh, really, really easy to set up the product options and variants with this. Uh, now, if you go below that, you will see the option to track your inventory. So if you have a lot of inventory, this will keep it a lot more smooth and you'll be a lot more organized with all your inventory and stuff like that. But once you're done looking at all these settings, you wanna scroll all the way up to the top and just ensure that's in the right collection that you want. If you have more collections or you wanna create a collection, you can go ahead and click create collection here. And then under promote, you can either create a coupon, create a promo video, send an emailing campaign, share product and edit SEO settings. So that is all stuff that you guys can look into. It'll all vary based off of what you're doing and what you're selling. Uh, but once you're done everything here, you wanna go down to advanced and if it's gonna ask you what it's fulfilled by. If it's just you yourself, you can just click self-fulfilled. Uh, but if you're using a different program or drop shipping, that will be different. Uh, but anyhow, once you're done setting up everything here and your images and videos and descriptions all done, you just wanna click on the save option and then that will save your product to your store. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you how to add products to your Wix website. If this was helpful to you, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.